Namaste and welcome. This is Chantel from She Achieves Studio welcoming you this morning to the third round of five minute morning meds. Good morning. Good morning, ladies. Already, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to your five minute morning meds. <laughs> so, this morning, 7.35 to 7.45 is grounding. Hello. Mwah. And 7.45 to 7.50 is the actual meditation. And then from 7.50 to 8 a.m., we seal. If you have to leave at any time, like, go for it, because this is going to be uh, recorded and you will have this whole video accessible on She Achieves Studio Facebook. And then I will condense the actual five minute meditation into a YouTube video on my YouTube channel, She Achieves Studio. There's even a big meditation on the YouTube channel, if you like. So you can access five minute morning meds at any time. Okay, so this morning our ground, when we ground and we invite our intention, we what we're doing is we're creating a container. So imagine if, okay, well, I do this all the time. I water my plants, I water the plants, and I get too rammy, and the water goes outside of the container. The container is not able to hold the force that's coming in. Uh-huh. You get what I mean? So our intent this morning is to connect with Manipura. And Manipura is our solar plexus energy, our chakra. It has a lot of um, to do with digestion, stomach, intestines, energy. It has a lot to do with our ego, our ego, our self-confidence, our lack of self-confidence, our excessive self-confidence. Okay, and we want to bring in an intention into that energy. Okay, sometimes in our lives, if we are without intention, we have all this energy going like this, and there's no intention, there's no direction for it. So it's just like ah, all over the place. Have you ever felt that way? You have all of this energy, and yet it's like, you don't know where to direct it. So it's in a free form, okay? And then you can have the opposite. You can have a large amount of intent, like a goal, something strong that you're striving for, but yet there's no ignition to it. There's no ignition to that intent. So what happens to that intent I don't know what happens to it for you. You have to tell me. Okay. And that intent can either just stay there like stagnant and it just sits there and it just sits there and it just sits there and it gets heavier. Or we connect intent and energy, Mani Pura, with intention and we mix them. Okay. And I call this bridging you can bridge. So sometimes we want to have a bridge. We want to have a really long bridge. We want to have space. So ask yourself what a bridge means to you. Like just, what does a bridge mean to you? Let's ask yourself, what does a bridge mean to me? Well, for me, it's either really long, it creates space. That's what a bridge means to me. Okay, it creates a gap. It, it cre doesn't create, well, it can create a gap, but it creates a means to where you want to, where you are and where you want to be. Like, I want to go here, but I'm here. I need to bridge. Okay. And I actually just talked about this. This was our intention for Sweat and Serenity demo, the free demo. We practiced yin yang this morning for 30 minutes. Okay, so. When we bridge, if we're able to bridge, we can create a response. Wait for it. When we bridge, when we create a bridge, we can create response over reaction. 
And I don't know about you, but I've been putting a lot of effort, a lot of in, intention and action into creating a response over reaction. And for me, it, it takes me, it takes me a little bit to pick up on things. You know, things really don't come very easily to me in, in some realms. So I have to actually physically pull my body back. I did that to my husband the other day. He was talking and I just stepped back because I just had to create space for me to respond versus reaction. It's not good. It's not bad. Okay. Does that, does that resonate with anyone? Do you want to share your comments? I would love, I would love to hear from you and see if you're picking up what I'm laying down. So sometimes creating, we want to create a bridge, okay? Sometimes the bridge helps us respond instead of react, yet sometimes that bridge helps us get to where we want to go, okay? It can work in both realms. The moral of the story, hi, bye. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Yes, it is. It is true. The moral of the story is it, I don't want to say it doesn't matter what bridge, whether you're closing the gap or extending a gap, but whatever situation, whatever experience is happening, just having the acknowledgement, having the awareness and the conscious connection is, is really the moral of the story. Because when we are willing to be aware, we can then self-regulate. We can self-respond. We can self-manage. When we're not aware, we, we're humans. This is, we just go. We just go if we're not aware. We do whatever we want. We don't pay attention. We don't check in. So this is your opportunity with this meditation. The five-minute morning meds this morning, which starts in about two minutes, is to ask yourself, what relationship would you like to have with your bridge? Do you want it to bring more action, manipura? Do you want it to lead you somewhere? Okay. Or are, are you asking for that bridge to maybe close a gap? I don't, I don't know. You have to figure that out. That's the joy about this. You step in or you step out. It's your choice. Okay. So before we begin the five minute morning meds, find yourself in a nice, comfortable position. Maybe you're still in bed. I don't know. I don't know. Ideally, not running a moving vehicle would kind of be a good thing. So find yourself still. Okay. And that's what I mean by still. Be still, as still as you can. Whether you're standing, laying, kneeling, seated. <sighs> and have your body in a shape that is somewhat sustainable for five minutes, as best you can. Now, our mudra, our mudra, our hand position this morning to help unite and create a bridge. Our hands are our bridge as well. Oh, this is really good. We could have like a big, long conversation on the bridge. I love it. Is mukula mudra, mukula mudra. It's called the beak hand. So all we do is make a little beak. So the four fingers kind of unite with the thumb. And the thumb represents a uh, fire element and um, um, energy, fire and energy. Doo -doo -doo. So the see, the fire and energy, we are bridging, we are closing the gap with this, okay? So palms face up on your thighs. If that's comfortable, elbows relaxed, eyes open or eyes closed. Okay, it's up to you. And whatever's happening around you, as long as you're safe, can you bring your, your attention, your awareness into you? And let's begin. Namaste and welcome to your five-minute morning meds. This morning, we are willing and we create a sense of our bridge, to bridge our intention into action or to expand and extend. Hmm. 
Now bring awareness into your seat. Your seat, not only in your tailbone, in the sits, but also in the feet. Feel the seat in your feet. Expand and extend energy up through spine and a very gentle tuck in of the chin to lengthen the back of the spine. Now as always, self-regulate and come out of the pose at any time. Eyes open or eyes closed, you get to choose. Tongue and jaw are soft. And our mukala mudra, perhaps begins to feel warm. Perhaps you feel a bit of perspiration on your fingers. Perhaps you are cool. Now very gently breathe in and breathe down. Breathe down into your seat. Breathe down as you breathe in. Feel the energy expand. On next breath out, a gentle sigh out. Nice and easy. Easy and warm. Warm and gentle. Easy breath in. Feel belly, expand energy with breath in and a gentle sigh out, release into this energy with breath out. Now next breath in, breathe into not only belly, breathe into heart. Begin to fill up this intention, this intention of bridging your intent and your energy together to create a bridge. Bridge with your breath into belly and into heart. Invite breath to connect belly and heart. Breath in and breath out, nice and easy easy and warm, warm and gentle. Now the energy begins in the belly and the intent begins in the heart. Connect belly and heart, heart and belly. Notice with loving curiosity the shape not only of your physical body, the shape of your emotions as you connect belly and heart. The shape, notice the shape of your energy and your mind, the shape of your thoughts is the intent from heart and is the ignition of this intent from belly. Now, without changing or reaching for something different, can it be enough? Where you are now, can it be enough just for today? Very gently when breath feels easy and warm and gentle, expand breath in from belly, from seat, from belly into heart, into throat, all the way up into intuition and out through the crown. A nice, easy breath out and in, back and forth. Find connection, find flow with breath in, filling up, 
and breath out wherever you like to direct the intention of the energy of your breath. And now next breath out, open mouth and a gentle sigh. <sighs> you can open your eyes if they're not already. And take a few moments with breath and look around you and see what you see and know that you have created space. You have created a bridge, a bridge to close in or a bridge to expand. Whatever showed up for you in that meditation. So thank you for sharing your five-minute morning meds with my five-minute morning meds. I say namaste. Peace. I love you all. And if you'd like to stay for another eight minutes, I invite you to do that as well as we seal in our meditation. Okay. And I'd love to hear your comments. If you were able to participate into the meditation, how was that for you? Were you able to connect? And I love how once you get into a meditation, no matter whether it's a moving meditation or a silent meditation, it could be an external meditation, it could be an internal meditation. I know for the longest time in my life, working out was my meditation. And it still is. However, it shifted. It shifted. And I find meditation now in walking in silence or with my rock and roll, my music, <laughs> or in stillness. It is so beautiful to meet the resistance with love. And it takes time. It's hard. And that's where that bridge comes in. Are you ready to close the bridge? Or do you still need an expanded bridge? Do you got to back up a little bit? And again, there's no right or wrong with that, okay? It, it's whatever is working for you. And sometimes we close the bridge when we don't want to, but sometimes we do. And then we get to work with that, whatever shows up from that. Or we expand. Maybe we have an expanded bridge, an extended bridge that we don't like. We want to close the gap or vice versa, right? It can go either way. It's like, um, what are those things called that the, the clowns have, you know, in circuses? Oh, I can't remember. But, you know, it's like one of those accordion. Oh, an accordion. Yeah, like an accordion, right? Ah, so you get to open and close. So what the five-minute morning meds offers you an opportunity into is to become conscious and aware of when you retract, when you are retracting, or when you're expanding into anything in your life. And Manipura, the, the subtle energy of our, our fire, I call it the je ne sais quoi, <laughs> our mojo, okay, whatever ignites you, that is cultivated into the belly or in from the belly. That is our heat, our metabolism. And from there, if we remember to come from the intention in here, in our heart, and we mix the two, amazing, amazing changes can happen. And even an, just having the awareness can be a change. It doesn't always have to be a physical change. Okay. Beautiful. So if you have any comments or questions, please let me know. I would love, love to hear what, you know, relationship you have with a bridge. If you've ever thought about the bridge, geez, I need to have a, a longer bridge here. I, I need to pull back a bit. I need to step away. Versus I got to be here. I got to be here. I got to be here. And when we're able to see that and acknowledge that through heart versus judge, 
Again, a lot of energies can shift in your life. And as always, when we take responsibility into ourselves without blame or shame, then it, it, it just opens up the doors. And I say this with magnitude because I believe it, because I've seen it, not only in myself, but other people. And sometimes it's a journey that some people are ready for and sometimes it's not. And that's so cool. Like, that's so cool just to be wherever you are and to acknowledge it. So thank you for sharing your space with me this morning. This will be our weekly time and jam, Wednesdays, 7 a.m. No, 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 no. That's sweat and serenity. Sorry. <laughs> I got I gotta create a bridge right now. <laughs> Keep my, my thoughts clear. 735 is five minute morning meds. A mountain standard time. It goes till eight-ish. Remember, the actual five-minute morning meds are from 7.45 to 7.50. I will be posting the actual meditation on She Achieves Studio YouTube channel. And if you're ever bored or you just want to explore, I got a lot of videos. <laughs> Lots of videos because I like to talk about all the good stuff that the universe is opening us up into. Okay? And there's also a meditation on the YouTube channel as well. Stay posted for some more Facebook Lives. And please remember um, Sunday evening, every Sunday, every Sunday night, 8.15 p.m. to 8.45 p.m. Mountain Standard Time, I will be offering another Facebook Live called Weekend Card Poll, where we close that week's energies to and, and create, seal it up, get what we need from it, and then we expand into the next week. So that's our weekend card pull where I will shift through some oracle or even tarot cards and see what kind of the jam is for the ending of the week, transitioning into the coming week. So lots of good stuff. And there's also Sweat and Serenity. If you haven't noticed yet, I am promoting the 12-week signature series. There's lots of information. I'm not going to go into detail. Just click the link on She Achieves Studio if you're interested. Until then, my friends, my lovely, lovely souls walking on this earth, enjoy creating a bridge Enjoy expanding your bridge. Enjoy closing your bridge. And I would love to hear your comments of how your bridge expands and connects your intention with your energy. I say namaste. Peace. I love you all.